Hey everyone. One of the biggest disservices to kids that math teachers do in the early years of learning is inadvertently teaching students that math works the same way that reading does. Now in the Western world, most of us read from left to right. We start on the left side of the page and work our way to the right. It's only natural for early childhood teachers who are already teaching reading that way to want to broaden that to include math as well. But it leads to a really bad habit. Students begin to misunderstand the meaning of the equal sign. When you learn to read this expression, as 3 and 4 make 7, you're completely removing the concept of equal from it. As a result of this, students get into their heads from a very early age that the equal sign is a way of saying makes, or some other version of the answer goes on the right side of this symbol. It leads to one of the most common errors when you get to actual equations that look like this. Now what happened here is that the student thought the blank was asking for the answer to 3 plus 4. Then they kept working to subtract 2 from that and wrote in the next part. In the student's mind, and reading this like you'd read a sentence in English, this gets read as 3 and 4 make 7, take away 2 from 7 to get 5. Now in reality, the concept of equal and answers really don't have much to do with one another. And interrupting that way of thinking is a big issue for any grade 5 math teacher. But if it doesn't mean the answer is, well, what exactly is an equal sign? Well, it's exactly what it already told you it is. The left side of the sign is equal to the right side of the sign. That's it. That's an expression of equality between two different mathematical terms. While I could say 3 plus 4 equals 7, I could also say 7 equals 3 plus 4. It would be just as true. The terms 7 and 3 plus 4 are two different ways of saying the same thing. If we really wanted to put a language arts spin on this, it would be more accurate to say that the equal sign is a way of showing synonyms than it would be to call it a number sentence. To use a more visual metaphor, however, it's helpful to think about an old-fashioned scale. Just like one of those scales, for our equal sign to be working properly, both sides always need to be in balance with one another. With a scale, if I have a set of things on one side that weigh 5 grams, and a 5 gram weight on the other side, they're in balance. I don't have to have something as simple as a 5 gram weight though. I could have a completely different variety of things, which also weigh 5 grams. In the same way, while I could say 3 plus 4 equals 7, it doesn't have to be as simple as 7. The other side of that equal sign could be a completely different mathematical statement that also happens to work out to 7. 3 plus 4 equals 21 divided by 3 is also true. They're both 7. It could be way more complicated if I wanted. 3 plus 4 equals 28 times 20 divided by 80. As long as both of these will eventually yield the same value, my equation's true. Also like a scale, if I add or take away weight to one side of it, it's no longer balanced unless I do the same thing to the other side. Let's look at 3 plus 4 equals 21 divided by 3. If I change the left side of the equation by adding another 5, this is no longer true. 3 plus 4 plus 5 comes out to 12, and 21 divided by 3 it still comes to 7. That means this equation is now false. To bring it back into balance, I need to add 5 to the other side as well. Now we're all balanced and set, and all's right with the math world again. This is true for any operation. If I multiply one side by 4, I need to multiply the other side by 4 as well. If I divide one side by 4, I need to divide the other side by 4. Whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other, to keep balance between the two. If I don't, they're not equal anymore, and my statement becomes false. And that's it. That's our whole concept for this time. While it may seem pretty simple to anyone who's been doing math for a while, it's a really big deal for our newest and youngest mathematicians. Remember, an equal sign is not part of a number sentence. It shows us number synonyms. It's the scale that tells us we have two equal expressions it doesn't really have anything to do with the answer to anything. That'll do. Peace.